So a lot of people have been asking me how to update their nice hash miners, uh, specifically the NB miner with the newest uh, NB miner update. So let's go ahead and show you guys a really quick video. It's super, super quick, I promise. Before we begin, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know how big your nice hash rig is or if you're mining nice hash. I'm curious as to how many guys, how many of you guys are mining nice hash and uh, how big your rigs are. Because, I mean, th look, there's a lot of people who don't like nice hash, and I get that. I understand that. I mean, look, you prefer to mine just the specific coin. I understand that. Um, but be nice to the people who like mining through nice hash. I mean, it's easy, it's convenient. You have the app on your phone, you can monitor everything, you turn it on and off, you know, like it, and it pays in Bitcoin. So I get it. I get it. But I'm going to teach you today how to go ahead and update your nice hash miner. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the NB Miner GitHub. And you want to go to the official one. I will leave a link down below for you guys so you can go ahead and get the official one. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on whichever one applies to you. So we're using Windows. So we're going to go ahead and click on MB Miner 39.7 win.zip. That's the one we're going to go ahead and, and download. I've already clicked on it. I've already downloaded. Next, you want to open up the zip file that it downloads to. Okay, so double clicking on the zip file, find where it says nbminer.exe. That is the newest MB Miner update. From there, you want to go ahead and get your your uh, and your MB miner, your nice hash file open. So go ahead and locate your nice hash miner files. And once you do that in Explorer, then you want to click on minor plugins. Go ahead and click on minor plugins and find which one is the NB miner. Uh, shouldn't be that difficult. You're looking through the bin files and you'll see it XM rig. Uh, let's see bins that is not the NB miner that is the enemy might take a little bit but we'll find it T uh, TT miner watch it be the first one up top and I, that's the one I should have clicked on mini Z oh and we got so you might get virus protection or whatever if that happens don't worry about it go ahead and get that settled out like a, you fix it or set an uh an expectation <laughs> set <laughs> set an exception uh it's not a big deal miners typically get pegged as uh that's excavated see what did i say it was the first one jesus of course it was all right um so here we go here's the mb miner so go ahead and click on the mb miner i why there's two here i is beyond me i don't know surely that complicates things Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Um, well, we want to go on the newest one. So let's go ahead and just delete this one. I don't know why there's two. So we're going to go ahead on the newest one, the newest NB miner right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the NB miner file from the zip file and we're going to place it in here. So boom, it will prompt you to replace the file. So we'll go ahead and do that. Replace the file and it will replace it. So I just did that. Um, now next time that you open nice hash, it's going to prompt to update, right? Um, it, it's going to act like it's a, uh, it's a new, um, like it's a new install, which it happens sometimes. So you might have to re log back in. Uh, you can use your, your nice hash app to be able to log back in. You scan it. It'll, it'll go ahead and link your, uh, what do you call it? It'll link your miners with your with your uh, account so it's not a big deal um but yeah it, it acts like it's the first time that you do it so you might have to redo some of your settings in nice hash again it's not a big deal uh, but that's pretty much it it's a very quick simple way to do it and you can do that same thing with every single uh every single miner that you have in nice hash if you want to update it if there's a new uh, miner that's currently available that uh that nice hash hasn't done or hasn't updated or whatever you can do that. So there we go. I updated it and it's probably going to have to run bench tests again. Most likely it'll run bench tests. Um, 
yeah, so it's it's prompting me to run bench test. But they that's it. That's it. Simple, very simple, very easy. Uh, once you have it all set up, then just go ahead and start mining again. Uh, if you have any further questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer your questions. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. If I helped you, for sure. And I'll see you guys next time. Everybody, happy mining.